Okay, so here's the scenario. You have a stacks and stacks of bills that you'd want to turn into PDFs and scan into your computer. Well, your only choice, for the most part, is to scan it into a regular flatbed scanner. One after the other, after the other, after the other. Which can, can take a long time, unless you use a document scanner. Now this one is the Fujitsu um, ScanSnap S300. And here's a little guy. What's nice about him is he's compact. Compact. You can take him with you. It powers over USB using two USB cables or powers over a regular um, power adapter and you can plug in via micro USB. So here's how small the little guy is. That's it. If you need some more room, you can lift this up. Now it knows when you shut the lid and it shuts off. It knows when you open the lid and it turns on. The thing only has one button, so you really can't screw it up. It has this one, which is scan. So when you put your stuff in there, you hit the scan button and boom, it um, scans to your computer. So what we're going to do, I was going to scan in some bills, but then you'd see all the information. was going to scan in my car insurance, but has my address. So I thought, let's go ahead and take apart a 1999 Gateways Owner Manual to the tune of about, oh, I don't know, 28 pages. Now, if you look on this thing, it's front and back. So this thing is a duplex scanner. It can scan the front side and the back side all at once. It also knows that the back side's blank. It doesn't scan it at all. So we're going to go ahead and put both these sheets in. Now the first run, you're just going to watch the thing scan. The next time, this little guy is going to be in the corner of the screen, and you're going to be seeing what's happening on the software level as it's scanning. It'll be kind of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Kind of line it up so it just kind of lays just like that, and then you hit scan using the word engage as you do so right here. Engage. Scans the last page first, then the front page. Okay, that one went in kind of crooked. Okay, so now it's done. So now we're going to go ahead and switch to the PC in and see how did this thing turn out. Okay, here's our 30 page document, 15 pages front and back. And here's what we got. Yeah, this one, since it does front, back, then first, this was the second page to the last, which went in totally crooked. Yep, that was the start of it right there. And the rest of these are all right side. So sometimes they go in crooked. That's unfortunate, but that's just the nature of a scan. If you somehow jam the thing up, well, I'll show you that in a second here. So here it is. Now... Here's the software. Mainly it does it into PDF formats because PDF is the standard. You can scan it into any other application that you want. You can email it. You can print it. Um, let's go into File, Print, New. Um, you can import M uh, PDFs or JPEGs. So that's kind of nice. You can export to wherever you want to export it to. Um, you can scan to email, scan to print, 
can go into your options, you can set the scan button, so when you push the scan button, that it does it normal, which is the fastest, better, slow, or excellent. Color correction, or color detection, you can do color or just black and white. And yeah, this thing does color too. Um, you can have it do duplex, or just scan, or one side. File operation, file format is PDF. It can also OCR it, which is a little bit slower scan. Uh, paper size, or you can have it automatically detected. So far, it's been auto detecting. No problems so far. Compression. Oops. Compression. Um, obviously, the less compression, the larger the file, or the more compression, the lower the file. So it's kind of self explanatory. And for the most part, in Vista and X, I don't know about XP, but in Vista and 7, all your documents are stored under the documents in my ScanSnap documents. Okay, so going back out here to the actual scanner, if it does jam up, you can simply push this button, the entire thing comes forward. How nice is that? Just pull it out. It just snaps into place. And then when you're done using it, you push this down, all the way, shut the lid, and the thing turns off. The thing retails for about $249 on a new egg. And this has been a review of the Fujitsu ScanSnap S300. Thanks.